Hi my friends, a very good morning and welcome to one more landscape photography adventures. Here in my channel, I'm still at Tresime. You can see my faces back there, and all the good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today uh, we are going for a little longer hike and uh, so I, I ditched my, uh, my tripod back in the van. I'm parking down there anywhere. I just wanted to see there, doesn't really matter. And it's a bigger hike and the problem is that we will have a thunderstorm a little bit later and I don't know if it will be fast enough back. I, I hope so. So I don't know how long it will fog, but uh, I would say let's give it a try and uh, fingers crossed that we get out some fantastic photographs. That is amazing <laughs> which difference it is when you don't have a driver with you. And the air is so thin up here. We are around about 2,400 meters, something like that, sea level. And day after day it gets really better, but also the tripod is a really big difference. And in the moment it's so enjoyable just to walk here and enjoy all the fantastic landscape. I'm not sure if it's possible uh, to photograph here in the morning now, because I think the better weather conditions will be in the evening. It had been better to go in the other direction, to be honest. Uh, so because I think in this area, I want to focus on this area today. Um, but my main goal today is uh, to do a little bit of exploring here. I want to explore this area uh, because I want to come back here. It's really a fantastic area for landscape photography. It is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Oh, this here looks amazing. This mountain face here, the left hand side, a little bit of the right hand side, also another curve here that comes from the left side and ends on and it really goes back to the distance to this peak back there. Unfortunately, we don't have the right light here now in the moment. I think it's good here, maybe around about noon here. I know, I know this sounds, sounds crazy, uh, but uh, around about noon you have the uh, possibility here to get clouds already and get sunspots there and where, if you have luck, you get the first one illuminated, the second one not and so on. And this looks into a really fantastic layering effect and a fantastic photograph, obviously. So I would say we'll go a little bit more in that direction. And I think it's just that we will also get a little bit of clouds there. So we get a little bit more plasticity here in our landscape. It would be possible to shoot into all directions here, but it's all about light here actually. If you don't have the right light, it's difficult to get a really great photograph. I mean, the landscape is amazing. And without the right light, we just get average shots and uh, snapshots maybe. But this is not what I want to be honest. It doesn't really matter. As I already mentioned, I will definitely come back here. I think you could come come here for multiple times and have mul multiple different weather situations. You get, you get totally different photographs. I mean, it's always the case in landscape photography, obviously. But I think here, here really special because yeah, it's such a difference uh, where the light spots uh, hit the mountain faces, uh, where the shadow uh, got caught and so on. And this lake here. Looks interesting. Not sure if we will get a reflection here. I mean, we have totally the wrong weather conditions. Totally. It doesn't really make sense to take a photograph here. But again, it's all about exploring here and checking out my possibilities for next time when I'm coming here because I, I saw already really so many possibilities. And here is the lake. Don't have the best reflection here from the Tresime. A little bit, we have to go a little bit closer here. Oh yeah, this works. <laughs> this could work. Other daytime, other weather, and this would be a fantastic spot for taking photographs. Are these sticks here absolutely amazing? Just have to put them down like that, and you have it finished. A second here, just like that, and finished. <laughs> and I can use them. Oh man, it's so sad. And the weather conditions are not better for photography. I mean, it's fantastic for hiking, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's go on. Oh, 
Oh, this path is absolutely hard to, to walk here. I, I came up from, from back there, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the path goes down here and more down there and then up here again and here. I think I'm on about at the half of the, of the height where I have to go to this uh, refugio, to this hut up there. And uh, what I got attracted by is uh, this mountain back there. It's uh, really fantastic with these shadows and light here. We get this fantastic plasticity here in this scene. And uh, I also got a little bit of shadow in the foreground and uh, also in, in the mountains at the left hand side and right and so on. I took the shot already and I will, I will show it to you right now. I found one more shot, same mountain as before, and uh, I took these uh, rocks in the foreground. Uh, what I really like here is that we have everything in the foreground uh, illuminated. Uh, a little bit before we had uh, more shadows here in the, in the mid-ground. And uh, yeah, this fantastic game between light and shadow at the mountain face back there. Yeah, it's uh, nearly noon and uh, I got I get more and more clouds and this is really fantastic here. We need clouds here, you know. Uh, these, these mountains are really dramatic. It's really an epic scene wherever you look and uh, I don't want to, to shoot the happy photographs here. It's more about uh, getting drama into the photographs. And uh, yeah, the, the changing light uh, situation is really fantastic here. And, uh, and I took the shot already and I will show it to you right now. I had already lunch in this uh, hut back there, and this Refugio Locatelli is its name. And I had an omelette with potatoes, really fantastic, and Austrian Apfelstuhl. I'm not sure about that, I think it's more an Italian Apfelstuhl, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and now we, we will go back there now uh, in that direction. Unfortunately, yeah, the weather is not really dramatic enough for the Tresima here to get a really fantastic uh, photograph from this direction, but yeah, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, landscape photography is not only all, in, all, all about uh, getting fantastic photographs. I, I know this sounds totally crazy, but the important thing is to enjoy nature and to enjoy the landscapes, to understand them and maybe to come back at another time. And I will definitely come back. And I've, I've explored so much here. I have so many possibilities for photography here. <laughs> it is totally amazing. I, 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 can't, I can't wait to come back here. And uh, yeah, we'll also be tomorrow here. Uh, I'm just not sure if I will vlog here. Maybe I will just do exploring or something like that. Uh, I will go in that direction now and uh, fingers crossed that we will any way have a possibility for photograph. I'm not sure about that. As I already mentioned, we will get a thunderstorm. So um, we will try to get um, back as soon as possible. Usually it would be better to stay a little bit here, but no problem to stay here for three, four hours or so and to wait that the clouds are changing. I can't do this uh, today. But however, I would say let's try it in that way. Now more or less at the place where I've been already. Last time, not last week's video, I think the video the week before or so. And uh, interesting is, when we look back there, I will show you right now a photograph of that hooker last time when I've been here. And as you can see, 
we had fantastic light spots. Uh, we had uh, shadow and uh, this game of shadow and light. And when we look back there, we also have this here today. But uh, the only problem is we have too much of blue sky up there. And this, uh, yeah, the drama is really missing here. I mean, it's, it's not bad, but it's not that dramatic as it was last time. So, my friends, whenever you should come here to Tresime, truly do recommend walk around the Tresime to uh, Refugio Locatelli. And it's really fantastic to eat back there, it's amazing. I went it clockwise, it's better to walk anti clockwise uh, because, yeah, I think uh, the chance to get clouds is better in the afternoon. Um, I did this because of the thunderstorm today. I wasn't sure this part here, uh, this first part I went to the hut uh, today was uh, quite heavy, I have to say. Um, you need a little bit of condition, therefore. But uh, don't forget uh, your hiking sticks. And for me, it was really fantastic today. I, I, I didn't get the best photographs out I've ever taken in my life, to be honest. But it is so fantastic just to be out, to be alive and to enjoy landscape. I never said before that there is not a shot back there, but another sun came here up on this fantastic peak here, this uh, kind of triangle mountain back there. We have this uh, yeah, kind of uh, rock here, this peak up there. We have these greens and everywhere, the sun there. Before we had a little bit uh, less sun, just uh, more shadows down there. And I took the shot already and I will show it to you right now. Friends, as you can see, light is so important. And if you shouldn't know how to use light to your advantage, I made already a video about that. I will link it here for you. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up. And don't forget to tune in next week. It will come a fantastic video as well. See you next time. Bye.